Hi, in this lecture, we're going to talk about the basics of WooCommerce. Uh, and by basics, I mean basic stuff. Um, there is going to be a lot of lectures about how to add products, categories, the basic settings, payment options, shipping options, emails, etc., etc. For now, I will take a quick look and feel to WooCommerce. And this lecture is really for you to determine, is it something for me or not? If it's not, then probably this lecture or this course is not for you. Uh, this is a free lecture. You can preview this one. And um, this way you can determine hmm, this feels right or not. And then you can continue. So let's take a small look. Uh, WooCommerce is built uh, with WordPress in mind. So everything is using of basic WordPress stuff. As you can see here, we remember the add page, add post. Add order. That's a strange one, but hey. Okay. You have orders. All your orders show here. Coupons. You can create coupons, discount coupons, for example. A report page. Look at this. Very good. You can report, find reports on orders, customers, stock. Loan stock, out of stock, most stocked. Let's take a look at it later when we created some stuff so you can actually see data here. But here you can see very good thing. What did I sell the last seven days or this month, last month? Gross sales, net sales, average sales, order placed, a lot of stuff WordPress, uh, WooCommerce is collecting for you to get good, good insight on how well are you doing. Settings, very specific topic. We're going to talk about that later. System status, look at this. It tells you, well, is your site configured correctly to run WooCommerce optimally? Home URL, version, database version. Yes, it can write logs, web version. Look over here, memory limit, 40 MB. For now, this is not important, but when you're running this on a server and you're going, about to go live, check this if it's okay. The memory limit is 40 MB, is way too low. As you can see here, they recommend setting the memory to at least uh, 64 megabytes. I normally do 128. Why? It runs the page faster, loads image quicker, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, For now, we don't need to do it, but in the future you can do it. It all depends on what kind of options you have on your hosting provider. If you don't know how to do it, contact them. They'll probably help you. The language chat, look, all kind of information about your server. Active plugins. Oh, okay, looks cool. Add-ons. Uh, WooCommerce has some add-ons of their own. So you have plugins that extend WordPress, like WooCommerce is a plugin, but you also have add-ons created by WooCommerce itself. They are like plugins for a plugin. Yeah, still following there. Uh, most of these things, you can also install them through the plugin menu. And a lot of these things you can download them from websites. Like say here, uh, payment gateways, PayPal, I think the PayPal plugin is also available on the PayPal site. Then you go to plugins, add new, probably get a zip file and here you go, upload plugin, choose a file and install it. Okay, let's go back. These are very specific WooCommerce plugins. They sort them out for you. Some are paid, not all of them are free. Take a look at that. And it's, yeah, it's just, great stuff, maybe some basic stuff you need, like uh, here, order customer export module, or something for marketing, product bundles, smart coupons, a lot of stuff here. Again, not all of them are free. You should take a look at that. Here's a free one, see? These are all free, and these are all third party. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Just take a peek, click some buttons, and see what happens. Uh, last thing I want to cover in this lecture is the products page. It's um, not nicely formatted because I'm recording this in a special resolutions on my MacBook. And um, that's why it looks a little bit strange, but maybe when we close down the uh, menu on the left, you can do it here, collapse menu. Mm, still not, but a little bit better. Um, this is the overview like you have for your pages and posts, but then for products. You can add new products here and it will be shown here with your uh, special ID, how many you get left, the price, which categories are under in, tags, you remember tags, you do. Same thing here. This little star, you can 
click the star for a product and then it's featured. And that setting is used by themes and plugins to show it on the front page or to make it a special color, bigger image, bigger buy button, whatever you want. Type, date, and this is again, these are all stuff from the SEO plugin. As you go here to the, um, let's make the menu bigger again. Let's go to plugins. So WordPress SEO also has stuff in there for uh, WooCommerce. Let's deactivate it for now. Go back. Look, they're gone and now everything looks okay again. Okay. Um, I keep it disabled for now to mainly focus on WooCommerce. Um, in one of my other lectures, I will going to talk about a little bit about SEO and uh, take a look at that. Okay, thank you. And next up, we're going to talk about products and categories.